okay um, now let us start with the javascript objects okay. so as i discussed about the javascript object uh, so here what happens basically is uh, the objects will be defined and uh, that it is going to be used in the programs okay so let us see that how the objects are going to work in this uh, as we discussed objects uh, javascript objects are going to be not full fledged object oriented language concepts so objects can have constructors properties and methods so there are objects that are included in the javascript language you can also define your own kind of also in this the okay. so constructors how you can create so normally you can create by using the new object so the new keyword that you'll be going to use it uh, the class name and the brackets within the brackets whatever that it is there that will be going to declare now example it is going to be here variable some objects name of the object that you can able to create the syntax okay is equals new use the keyword object name will be there then the parameters may be or may not be then uh, for some classes you can some concepts are could be defined like this also okay. so variable grading good morning this is a new way of this is also constructor this is also a constructor so where the uh, this is a short way of uh, creating the constructor this is a long way of creating the constructor variable creating new string okay. good morning so this is also a constructor this is also a constructor so synthetically that is going to be used like this okay now here greeting will become uh, constructor now we can say that uh, the object is being created each object might the properties for that is uh, how do you access that property each object might have the properties that can be accessed by depending depending on its definition okay so you will be going to use uh, if the properties exist can be accessed by using the dot notation dot notation that you will be going to use it uh, for instance example it is being given here alert some object dot property the syntax for example if i go to say that car is an object car dot uh, model i say so which model that car is going to belongs that it is going to get displayed now here methods are so we will be going to do some functions that it is going to methods are nothing but functions that it is going to get operated the objects can also have the function methods okay, which functions associated with the instance of the object these methods are called as called using the same dot notation that it is going to be used so we are using for the properties similar way that it is going to be used here also but instead of accessing the variable you are accessing the method function that you will want to access example is some object dot do something this is a function is based this function is there so here this function is being accessed so methods here dot operator is being used methods may produce different output depending upon the object they are associated with the with them okay so they can utilize uh, the internal uh, properties of that particular object I say car is an object methods are going to be so um, the properties and all these things are going to be present in that right so we can access those objects and uh, we can utilize it there are some uh, objects javascript objects are going there which includes uh, arrays boolean date ma mathematical functions then strings then next is the dom objects will be DOM objects is nothing but a document object model. So let us see one by one that uh, how the objects are going to be defined in this. Now uh, arrays first uh, arrays. So arrays are one of the data structures where uh, it is going to be used for the uh, more number of applications. So you can have you can resize it okay in this. So it's dynamically you can able to resize implement. Uh, in the browser specific browsers that it will be done and uh, you 
you can able to operate even insertion deletion operations you can able to do it sample is there here okay there is a uh, it shows that uh, how to create the array objects variable greetings is equals to new array so array like this only you should write it new array this is the object is being created with this greetings how do you initialize those variables those uh, objects okay. so you can able to create here and you can initialize variable greetings equal to new array capital letters it should be then uh, good morning good afternoon so you can able to create like this in the bracket and end with the semicolon so this is one method another method is there also here also it is getting created with the object okay variable greetings okay variable greetings is equals to square brackets that you are using it when you are going to use the square brackets no need of writing the new array when you are writing with the square brackets no need of writing new array this will become an object it's getting stored as an object fine now how do you access those objects again okay object is there then values are also going to be there from that particular object that will be going to access it let us say that how it will be going to access um, to access the element in an array you can use uh, the square brackets usually all the languages that is that is going to be used alert greetings of zero square bracket that you want to use means this is an index so the index value is being taken now what happens basically in this is if it is going to be so good morning is going to be the index zero and this will be displayed on the screen and the most common uh, Actions will be there. So, how many uh, you know, values are going to be there in the array that you wanted to find out? There's the length is the property is there. That length property that you can able to use it, and you can display all the variables, values. So, you'll be going to use the for loop for this. For variable i equal to zero, i is less than greetings. This is the object greetings dot array object. It is greetings dot length. So it is going to take the consideration of that particular array uh, i plus plus. Then alert greetings of i. Uh, just take the example over here itself. Okay. So here good morning and good afternoon is there. So this is zero and this is one. So total it becomes here the length will become two. Okay. So i is less than two i plus plus. Now first is alert greetings of i. So what is the value of i here? i is zero. So zero means it is going to print first good morning. Okay. Next i will become one. i plus plus is zero. Right? I will become one here. One is less than two. Yes, correct. Then after what it does, it takes uh, uh, second value alert greetings one. So it is going to greetings one is uh, is good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon is being taken and that is also printed. Now it will become so two is less than two. No, it comes out of this. Simple for loop it is. Okay. So how the indexes are going to be there in this? Let's the values. Now you see the indexes. These are the values. So zero is good morning. One is stored here. Two is here. Correct. Now how do you modify that? So you can able to modify by using the push methods greetings dot push good evening now only two variables two values were there here good morning good afternoon for the greetings okay now you see that okay you see that here what happens basically is greetings dot push good evening you have been pushed over there so when you push that it end at the, at the end of the array that it is going to push okay. so it will become like this Good evening that is getting stored in array, num, array index 2. Some other methods are also going to be there. It's a concatenation, slice, join, reverse, shift, and sort. So it does these things, we'll see it in the exam. Okay. Then mathematical operations are there here. Mathematical class is going to be there. So that it is going to be accessed by using common mathematical functions. 